Hey, this is We See Jesus Daily Devotionals for Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. We're going to be reading today out of Philippians chapter 3, starting in verse 7. It says, But whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes through the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God and is by faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death and so somehow to attain to the resurrection from the dead. So this is Paul teaching us and um, proclaiming to us that we should put no confidence in the flesh. In the previous verses before, he's talking about how if anybody had any reason to boast or have confidence in the flesh, it was him. And he talks about his life before Christ, how he was a Pharisee of all Pharisees, how he was um, meticulous at keeping the law and um, just such a profound religious leader. Like he's saying, if anybody had a reason to boast, it was me. But he's saying, but now I consider all of that, what I used to think was to my profit, I consider it worth nothing compared to knowing Jesus. He says, compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, there is a surpassing greatness. It, it surpasses our understanding. It surpasses our best expectations. Knowing Jesus just keeps getting better and better and better. The more that we know about him, the more we fall in love with him, the more we know his word. It, there's a surpassing greatness to knowing Jesus. We will never know enough about Jesus. We're always going to want to continually yearn and long for knowing more about Jesus. So everything that Paul had pride in before, he's saying like, I consider that worth nothing to me. Verse eight, he says, I consider everything a loss compared to knowing Jesus because Paul knows that Jesus is the only one who will ever satisfy us. Um, he's the only one who can fill us. You know, sometimes in this world, we put our identity in things that we do, you know, or achievements that we gain or accomplishments, but that's never going to satisfy us. What is going to satisfy us is Jesus filling our souls and filling us to the full measure with his spirit. That's the only thing that will satisfy. And so many of us know that because we temporarily put our hope in other things and nothing will ever satisfy us in Jesus because he is our identity. He is who we are. We're made in the image of God. Verse eight says, I, what is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness or some versions say the surpassing worth of knowing Jesus, my Lord. So the surpassing worth or the surpassing greatness is the value of knowing Jesus above every one and everything else. Paul had learned the value in knowing Jesus, really knowing Jesus. Now, Paul had been a Christian at this time for a number of years, um, but yet still he's saying, I want to know Christ. Like he wants to know him more. He wants to keep getting to know him more. Paul, Paul by this point had already had a heavenly experience. He had experienced so much of who Jesus was, but he wants to know him more. We want to continually be knowing Jesus more. This knowing is like an intimate, deep, complete, perfect way of knowing. So Paul's saying, I, I don't know him perfectly yet. I want to know him more. And that's all of us. We can all grow to know Jesus more. Um, he says that I may gain Christ. The prize is Jesus. Paul knew Jesus is our reward. Any other prize is going to leave us empty in the end. Verse 9 and be found in him. We want to be found in Jesus. We want our lives to be hidden in Christ. We want to walk in Jesus. We want to live in Jesus. Um, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law or obeying the law, but that which is through faith. You know, no one is righteous, the Bible says, not even one. Only Jesus is righteous. And again, he gives us his righteousness. So it's the righteousness of Christ. We will never have a righteousness of our own, no matter how perfectly we obey the law. 
We need the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Verse 10, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. If we really want to know Christ fully, um, we need to know the power of his spirit living inside of us. And then he says, and the participation in his sufferings becoming like him in his death. And again, if we want to really know Christ, then we need to participate in his sufferings. Romans 8, 17 says, Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. If we want to share in the glory of Christ, then we need to submit ourselves to share into his sufferings. Again, denying ourselves taking up our cross and following after Jesus no matter where he calls us. Verse 11, and so somehow to attain to the resurrection from the dead. Paul's saying, if only we may enter into eternal glory, then that will be enough. But eternity starts now by the Holy Spirit being placed into us, heaven being placed into us, and us getting to follow in the ways of Jesus right now on earth. So let's pray for our day. Jesus, we just thank you that you are so worth knowing. There is such a surpassing greatness of knowing you, Jesus. May we be those who seek to know you intimately, who seek to know you completely and perfectly, although we will be seeking um, all day, every day, until we're with you face to face. We, we will always be gaining knowledge of you, and we thank you for the gift of growing in you. Holy Spirit, would you reveal deeper and deeper layers of yourself to us and help us to have eyes to see you all throughout our day today and this new year ahead. Lord, give us wisdom in the ways in which you're calling us in this year of 2023. In Jesus' name, amen. I just encourage you to read all of Philippians 3 again. Just continue to just soak God's word in and his presence will be what flows out of us when we do that.